What is convection? Turns out it's this super common phenomenon that's happening all around us in the world. It's causing things like the wind, the weather, ocean currents. It's even believed to be the force behind the tectonic plates moving beneath our feet. But what is convection? Well, it turns out that it's a little challenging because it's kind of hard to see it in action. Hang out with me for a few minutes as I make this hard to see concept incredibly obvious. Exhibit number one, the whirly gig. Watch what happens as I hold it over the heater. Suddenly it starts to spin. Now what happens when I take it off the heater? It comes to a stop. Now this is just an ordinary heater. It doesn't have a fan or a blower or anything on it. You just turn the thing on and it gets hot. So what could make that whirly gig spin like that? Let's go to exhibit number two, milkweed, one of nature's finest solutions to seed distribution. Watch it rise all the way up to the ceiling and then float away from the heater where it falls all the way back down to the floor. What could be going on here? This, ladies and gentlemen, is convection. So you're probably starting to notice the challenge of seeing convection in the air when air is, well, transparent. We can't see it. The good news is, convection can happen in any fluid. What is a fluid? Basically any type of matter that has molecules that can flow around. And for exhibit three, we're gonna take a deep dive into my fish tank. That's right, we're going to observe convection in water. So here's my fish tank, and I bet you're thinking, why in the world is there a rock in there and two tins in the top? Well, you see, in order for convection to occur in a fluid, you have to have areas with different densities. And one of the most common ways to have different densities is to have different temperatures within a fluid. Now, the way that I'm going to create a cold region within this fluid is by putting ice into these two tins. Meanwhile, the rock is going to be boiled in hot water, so it will be blazing hot when I lower it into the tank. Now, as that rock transfers its thermal energy to the surrounding water molecules, those water molecules will begin to heat up, speed up, that's right, they'll move faster, they'll spread out, that makes them less dense, and therefore they will rise up. On the other hand, the water molecules near the cold regions will transfer their thermal energy to the ice. As a result, they will cool down, slow down, move closer together, which will make them more dense, and therefore they will sink down. The effect of all of this motion is the creation of what we call a convection current. Warmer, less dense molecules rising, colder, more dense molecules falling, and a sort of circular pattern developing in our tank. Don't believe me? Well, let me show you how we can make this process visible. By adding food coloring to the water, we can actually track the movement of the convection current in this fish tank. Now I'm going to add blue food coloring to help us track the motion of those colder, denser water molecules. Watch them falling beneath those ice cold tins. Now I'm gonna add some red food coloring to the top of the rock. Let's watch as those warm, less dense water molecules rise to the surface. As you observe, see if you can see a convection current forming on each side of the rock. Let's go ahead and watch this one more time, but this time Let's speed it up so we can see it in fast motion. So 
So there you have it, convection made obvious. If you understand what a fluid is and you know what density means, you've got the big ideas behind one of the science concepts that makes our world go around. Have a great day, and as always, stay curious, my friends.